Hi, Dick Rochford here. Uh, late level uh, correction, uh, uh, the altitude we're flying now is uh, 1 3000. Uh, this is a, a Piper PA46 Mirage, number 924 Tango. It's obviously G1000 equipped, so it's the latest panel. It's quite nice. It's the uh, other NEXRAD weather turned on here, along with some other things. Uh, and I, this leg is from uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin, uh, down to Nashville, which will be a fuel stop for us for a flight down to Naples later on this afternoon. And uh, as you can tell, the challenge is probably going to be getting from Nashville to Naples. Uh, more about that later. What I did want to talk about uh, is the uh, weather leaving uh, uh, Waukesha and how we can safely, we single pilot, single engine, piston and turboprop operators can safely fly in icing conditions. We did today have uh, uh, light to moderate clear ice in the climb. Uh, what I want to show you is a photograph. The photograph displays uh, what the, the photographs display what we were seeing uh, before we took off on the uh, four flight weather analysis. And we noticed that uh, somewhere around 5,000 feet uh, in the climb, the ice goes away on these uh, icing forecasts. That's because we, we act and what we learned was that the tops were at 5,000. So we uh, were able to safely depart, knowing the approximate amount of ice and the uh, uh, level at which we expected to break out. As a rule, I highly recommend, I have the radius, I highly recommend that you uh, consider uh, encountering, intentionally en encountering no more than light to moderate ice. Anticipate it's moderate or greater. Uh, your rules should say you can't go there. You have to disagree with the controller to avoid going there. Uh, the tools that are available now are quite good, and so there's no reason uh, uh, to dally in ice. Say no to ice greater than light to moderate. This is Dick Rochford. I safely train often.